Hello, Jasmine. Thank you for submitting your work here. I'm just looking through your writing here, and I want to address a couple of other things um, that I'm seeing here. Um, so you used images from the image sites. That's fantastic. Went to Photoshop, added adjustment layer. Excellent. Then I placed my potential masked image and went with whichever I, I thought looked best. I landed this image of a couple at a swim up bar. I masked my image of the drinks and added my required text to the logo. And logo, excellent. Um, saving this image, I was not sure of how to get the bleed to stay at the bottom of the image. It isn't very clean, and I'm going to link both so you can see. All right, so yeah, um, this is why it's so important to include a good, solid, written description of your experience with any assignment, not only for this class, but all classes. It, it really allows your instructor a very keen insight into your learning process. And this, and I, I've got a few things I, I need to um, address based on your writing here. So thank you for including this. Okay, so you're saying here, um, the bottom of the image isn't very clean. I, yeah, we've got an issue with the, with the bleed. And the, the, unfortunately, this AI file that you had submitted, um, I kind of had a feeling something. I think that the um, uh, submission got interrupted because this is only 716 bytes, and that is just not even. When I looked at 716 bytes, I, I immediately knew there was a problem because that's just a too, too small of a file to include your magazine ad as an AI file. So surely, um, sure enough, when I clicked on this, it, it wouldn't open, and it's giving me corrupt file warnings. So, so that's an issue. You may want to resubmit it if you want me to look at the AI file. Now, I've got the JPEG up, and I can see the area you're talking about. Yes, that is a problem. That um, I'd like to see the AI file and how this is set up, though. So if, if, if you can get that to me, that would be great. Uh, but yes, there, there, that it looks like the bottom, the image wasn't pulled all the way to the bleed guide itself. All right, I want to get this in the, there we go, that's perfect. I want to get this centered in the window here so we can start taking a look at what we have here. So I think that the ad itself is, is pretty good. Um, there's a couple of things that I would recommend um, for, for improvement. The image itself is, is, is pretty good, the background image. I think you're adjusted pretty well. One of the things I would like to see is, is if you readjust this image to try to bring out some of the shadow area. Right now, I think there's too much dark um, in the tonal distribution. There's too much uh, emphasis on the dark um, shadow areas. They're too dark. As we can see right through here, there's absolutely no detail in these shadow areas. And that's a, an indication that that the, the adjustment should probably be lightened a little bit to try to include some of that detail. Other than that, I think the background image is, is adjusted beautifully. Um, okay, so, the, all right, let's just talk about page mechanics on layout. So ready for relaxation. That looks like it's set in aerial bold. That's great. Unwind poolside. The subhead seems to be set in aerial italic and not aerial bold italic. Remember, that's required to be aerial bold italic. Now, one thing I would recommend here is if right now you, you've got really no left margins to speak of, everything is just bunched up right against the corner of the ad. What I would recommend in this case is, is to do this. Um, so let's, let's give yourself a good ample left margin there. What you want to do is you want to take this headline and move it in right to about where the E starts right there. And, and you would, that's where your headline would start. Now, draw a guide there, and that'll be your left margin. Okay, so basically what you want to do is, is you know, somewhere around there, just move it in a little bit. So you've got your headline. Then you, oh, go ahead and align your, your subhead with your, your headline. But make sure those are aligned so you don't have this diagonal here. So you have headline, subhead. Then we come down to the body copy. And I think right now that this is a little unusual because this second paragraph is so much wider than the first paragraph. So that points to inconsistency. So you want to make sure your text um, columns are up close to the same width. Um, and so pull the both columns of, or both paragraphs of type in to meet with the left margin. Okay, I would recommend pulling this up a little bit so it starts right about here, and then in, decrease the space between paragraphs so that you have one paragraph, just a little space, and then the next paragraph. At that point, I would say let's go ahead and to switch the logo to the right side of the, the, the composition, so right down here. Um, and that'll redistribute some of the balance, and plus it's a great place to look, to place a logo in a magazine at this lower right-hand corner because that's where the viewer tech, tech typically exits the page as we read 
left to right, top to bottom. This is usually an area where the viewer might exit the page. We might as well reinforce branding by placing the logo right there. Now the masked image itself is, is really, it, I don't think it's working for a couple of reasons. Number one, it's, it's, you can see there's the bottom of the mask right there. So you can see it's just, it's not a natural setting as there are a lot of things missing. The rest of that lime is missing. The peel of that lime is missing. This lime seems to be cut, or lemon seems to be cut off. So you might so in, you might consider selecting an image that where you can select out the whole image, including the fruit in the foreground, or even a couple of drinks. But you just want this to be a complete idea or a complete thought. So I'm using that comparatively to say this should be a complete image right here without these like severed areas. That creates a little bit of uncomfortable visual stress. Of being the part of that image is gone. So masked, you might consider using a different masked image. So we have, we have, um, so we have all of the changes, but that leaves one thing, and that's placement. So, so basically, logo on the right hand, masked image on the left hand. That leaves everything except for placement of the contact information. My recommendation here is to move the contact information right across the top of the ad, and a small, much smaller than the headline, of course. But it, so include your contact information up there. Let me show you an example of how to do that over here in the announcements area. There's an example that shows right there. See how the, the, the type, the location is located at the top instead of the bottom. So try that. I think that'll be very effective. So again, in summary, um, headline subhead, left align, create, establish a good left margin and use that for placement uh, to establish your left alignment. Uh, paragraphs, move them up, make sure that the, the width of the paragraphs are, are close to equal. Um, left align, logo to the lower right, masked image to the lower left, uh, address, con con uh, contact information across the top, and then consider using a different masked image as this one seems to be a little bit uh, unusual. Let's put it like that. And then also go ahead and make sure that your, your, your background image stretches to the bleed. Now, when you do, don't just take the image and pull it down and stretch it because that will distort the image a little bit. Make sure that you take the whole image and when you resize it, hold your shift key down. When you drag that corner bounding box, that'll constrain the original proportions, prevent any distortions from occurring on the image during a resize. All right, so those are my recommendations. I'd like to see these changes reflected in your final magazine ad, which is due pretty soon here uh, during week seven when the camp when you deliver the final campaign. However, go ahead and make these changes, and let's go ahead and finalize this magazine ad by making these changes and then resubmitting here so I can take a final look at it. Um, either resubmit it here, email it to me, or include it in the uh, general questions area of the discussion board. That way I can get some final comments and make sure that there's not anything missing or anything that needs to be changed. Because at this point, when the magazine ad is finished, you're gonna use the magazine ad as, a, as kind of a, a foundation to adapt to the banner ad. So the banner ad to a high degree depends on the magazine ad. So as I said, go ahead and finalize this and get it to me one way or another, however you feel most most comfortable email or you know repost whatever just so i can get some final comments in before um you start the magazine ad which will i'm sorry the banner ad which will start the banner ad this coming week so um no rest for the wicked right yes right we just keep moving right along here so at this point the most important thing at this point is to let me know if you have any questions or if i can clarify anything mentioned in this video so that uh, we can expeditiously move forward and start preparation for the Banner ad. All right, great job. Thank you very much.